Hey guys, so for this video, I'm gonna talk about why Booga and Mongrel switch back to their old keybinds. Now, I'm sure as most of you know, I am an absolute nerd when it comes to Fortnite keybinds. I love talking about them, theory crafting them, and helping pro players out with theirs. Funnily enough, I actually assisted Booga with his and let him know my general philosophy for optimal binds. So when I heard that he was switching off of them, I felt the need to let you guys know exactly why. Oh, and getting tagged in like 50 tweets also helped. Seriously, I can see why many of you guys may start to question how useful optimal binds truly are. That's why today, I'll be explaining why Booga switched off of them, as well as why Mongrel went back to his old Season X binds. Before we do that though, I have to cover why they changed them in the first place. Starting with the biggest keybind change, we're gonna look at the World Cup winner Sen Booga. Booga has been pretty infamous in the Fortnite scene for having the absolute worst keybinds ever. Before he optimized them, he had his wall on X, his floor or platform on V, his stairs on C, and his roof on X. These honestly wouldn't be too bad if he had hit them with a combination of his index finger, ring finger, and thumb, but because he was and still is an absolute psycho, he hit them all with his index. To make it worse, Booga also edited with G and opened up chests and doors with E, making his left index finger do like 30 things in total. Still, Booga played on these keybinds for over 2 years including when he won the World Cup. He only decided to change them about 3 months ago by putting his cone on left shift and added on F, which may not seem like a lot, but considering how bad his keybinds were beforehand, it was definitely a step in the right direction. He had his cone on his pinky finger and he no longer had to stretch his index out to reach G. Fast forward about 2 months from that first switch, or 1 month ago, and Booga once more decided to completely overhaul his binds. He put his wall on his front mouse button, same as what I recommend, floor on C which he hit with his index, and stairs on back mouse button. He also kept roof on left shift and edit on F since those are optimal. Anyways, the set of keybinds I just mentioned are nearly as optimal optimal as you can get. You have full control of your movement while building walls, stairs, roofs, and kinda editing if you use edit on release. The only build piece he had to take his finger off of his A or D movement key to hit was his floor. To Booga though, that movement advantage was not enough, and he ended up switching back to the semi-optimal binds he had just before that, with cone on left shift and edit on F. As to why he switched, it's really not as simple as everyone thinks, and what I mean is that if you watched him on his optimal binds, then you would know he was absolutely cracked on them. Everything from his movement to his building and editing was just as fast as it was before. Additionally, he was only on them for 3 weeks, yet still did pretty well in the FNCS solo invitational. I get that he didn't finish as high as he wanted to, and that he wasn't as comfortable as he was on his old ones for close range fights, but he still placed top 40 in the grand finals after having one of the unluckiest starts in his life. So to reiterate the question, why the heck did he switch? The answer is a cheeky little setting called Switch Quick Bar. Your Switch Quick Bar is the this thing down here that absolutely nobody on keyboard and mouse has bound. Booga has his on his side mouse button, and I put mine on H for the sake of this example. What Switch Quick Bar does is it brings out your last selected build or most recent weapon depending on what you have selected beforehand. So if you have your shotgun out and you press it, it'll bring out your last build piece you use. While if you have a build piece like your floor out and you press it, it'll bring out whichever weapon you were using last. Before you say anything, yes I know it sounds useless, you can quite literally do everything Everything the switch quick bar does just as fast by pressing your weapon or build keybinds. What you have to realize is the reason it's in the game is for controller players. Controller players don't have separate keys that they can hit to bring up each weapon in their inventory or their pickaxe. With the switch quick bar though, they can enter and get out of build mode quickly to take out their guns after building. Back to keyboard and mouse though, and let's say Booga is taking his opponent's wall. Rather than pickaxing it, pressing his wall keybind, and then reaching across his keyboard to bring out a shotgun which is on the number 3. He'll instead pickaxe the wall, press his wall keybind, and finish by pressing his switch quick bar that's comfortably located on the side of his mouse. Seems pretty busted, right? Well, not exactly. For those of you that were paying close attention, you'd realize by using your switch quick bar over going and pressing your actual weapon keybind, you're forcing yourself to take out your pickaxe after wall replacing. That means you'll have to pull out your shotgun before or after you edit the wall, which is an extra step in action you didn't have to take by doing it without the switch quick bar option. Nonetheless, the other big reason Booga prefers Switch Quick Bar is that he uses it in between edits to become smoother and more consistent. For example, when I go to do consecutive edits in a row, I'll usually hold my blueprints out or my pickaxe out after each edit. What Booga does because he has Switch Quick Bar on his mouse is he will start the edit with his blueprint, press his mouse side button to bring out a shotgun or pickaxe, and finish the rest of the edit with whichever weapon he has equipped. This makes it much harder to accidentally pre-edit since he's not only blueprint editing and gives him much more control of his movement 
movement since he doesn't have to take his finger off his A key to bring out his pickaxe. In my own opinion, I do not think you should use Switch Quick Bar. That may come as a surprise to you guys since I'm a Bugga fanboy and he's 10 times better than I'll ever be, but when you think about what it actually does, it is not optimal for keyboard and mouse players. Most people like me will put their wall on an optimal keybind and their weapons on unoptimal ones. That way we have full control of our movement while building, but not while taking out our shotguns. Boga on the other hand has it a little bit backwards where most of his building binds are unoptimal, yet because his switch quick bar is on his mouse, aka an optimal keybind, he has full control of his movement while pulling out the last weapon he used. This really doesn't make a huge difference for Booga since he's played this way for years now and he's gotten used to it. For everyone else however, who's nowhere near his level, it does. Just think about it, would you rather be able to strafe right and left while you wall replace and hold builds, or strafe right and left immediately after you do those things while taking out your weapon? The obvious answer is the first one. You're straight up just adding unnecessary steps to your box fighting and in-game engagements by choosing the second one. The only, and I repeat, the only reason it works for Booga is that he has adapted his entire gameplay around Switch Quick Bar and knows exactly which weapon he'll bring out when he uses it. 99.99% .99 of people don't have the same experience nor have the willpower to learn that way. Thus, to kind of sum this section of the video up, Switch Quick Bar is not worth switching to. I think if Booga waited a little longer, he could have gotten back to the same level he was at on the new optimal binds he tried out. The thing is, that would have taken him months and it's obvious he was not as comfortable on them as he was on his old ones. Lastly, I want to make it clear that Booga does not only use Switch Quick Bar in game. He does use it a lot, especially while taking walls and editing, but he doesn't use it in every single fight or in every second of the match. Most of the time, he presses his number keybinds to bring out his weapons like the majority of us. So again, unless you're Booga himself and you've won $3 million with Switch Quick Bar, do not use it on keyboard and mouse. I'm only bringing it up because I've been asked about it 500 times. Just know you can get the same amount of benefits and more from using optimal keybinds and watching my videos. Moving on, let's look at one of the more surprising keybind changes coming from Phase Mongrel. Unlike Booga, Mongrel did not change his building binds. He still has his wall on his front mouse button, his floor on his third side mouse button that he rebinds to N, his ramp on his back mouse button, and his cone on left shift. These keybinds give him full control of his movement while building. What Mongrel actually changed was his edit key as well as most of his weapon binds. Up until about two months ago, Mongrel edited with F and had his weapon keybinds sorted like this. Shout out to my boy Cold Life for the graphic. Then, pretty much out of nowhere, Mongrel started editing with E instead of F and changed his pickaxe bind, his SMG bind, and his fourth weapon bind. I honestly wasn't too sure why he did this because in terms of optimality, there were not any benefits. He was still editing with his index finger and he was still taking out his pickaxe and shotgun with the same fingers. My only guess was that he saw Benji editing with E, who was his duo at the time, and found it a little easier to execute Mongrel classics with. Regardless, those binds lasted about a month or so until Mongrel changed back to the original ones with the one alteration that his shotgun is on E now and his pickaxe is on Q. To explain why he made the switch back, you have to think about your movement during box fights. Like when you go for a top right corner edit, also known as a peanut butter, you make the edit, duck down to the left while pulling out your shotgun, and then jump back up for the shot. The problem Mongrel faced was because his shotgun was on Q, he could not immediately strafe left after the edit. That meant he would often lose fights and take damage he did not want to, simply because of his shotgun bind. Thus, being the smart laddie is, he changed his shotgun keybind to his index finger and can finally strafe left during peanut butter edits. It was a pretty simple and effective fix. So I'm not sure how many of you guys have your shotgun on your ring finger for keyboard and mouse, but if you do, I highly recommend you do what Mongrel did and put it on your index finger. This will give you the ability to press A right after you edit, which is extremely helpful in box fights. It doesn't matter if your shotgun keybind is on a number key, on a key near WASD, or even on your thumb, as long as it's not on your index finger, then you're all set. Overall guys, that's why Mongrel and Booga switched their keybinds numerous times in Season 2. If you're going to take away anything from this video, let it be that having comfortable binds is more important than having optimal ones. That does not mean optimal keybinds are not worth switching to because I still believe they are and most of the time they're more comfortable than unoptimal ones. It just means that top tier pros like Booga and Mr. Savage, who have already become the best in the world with unoptimal keybinds, they don't need to switch themselves. So if you enjoyed the video or learned something new, do be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and to turn on post notifications. Shout out to everyone using code Jerrion. Let me know down below if I should do some goals relating to my supporter creator. I've seen some YouTubers do stuff where if they get a certain amount of supporters, they'll shave their head or do something crazy. Just leave me some ideas down below. Otherwise, that's it from me, and I will see you guys
guys in the next one. Later.